There are many times you may need to have left aligned and right aligned information on the same line. In this quick tip, I show you a really easy way to accomplish this seemingly impossible task. This quick and dirty tip tells how to have seemingly contradictory alignments on the same line. In Word, this trick is done with tabs. Let me show you how it's done. First, you want to make sure that you select the line that you want to have the alignment uh, changed on. In this case, I'm going to do it right on this line right here, this single line. Now you need to make sure that this paragraph is left aligned. Most paragraphs are aligned in this manner, but you'll want to check to make sure that the paragraph isn't centered, right aligned, or justified. It needs to be left aligned. Now, with the insertion point in the paragraph on the home tab of the ribbon, the paragraph group right here, I'm going to click this icon in the bottom right corner. That displays the paragraph dialog box. Now, I'm not going to change any controls in here, but I want to immediately click on the tabs button down at the lower left hand corner. That displays the tabs dialog box. I'm not going to go into great detail in this quick tip about how to set tabs, but if you need a refresher, I'll provide a link at the upper right corner to a lesson on how you can set and manage tab stops. What I'm going to do here is to set a right align tab near the right margin of the page. All I would need to do is specify here that I want to set this at a specific location. I'm going to say 6.5 inches and I'm choosing that because that's the right margin of my page. You can see it on the screen here. I'm setting this as a right align tab so I click right, then I click set, and finally I click OK. And now we have the tab set for this particular paragraph in which the insertion point was located. Now I can type my text and the first thing I need to type is what I want to be left aligned. So I'm going to say this is left lined and then I press the tab character and you'll notice that the insertion point jumps all the way to that tab stop that we set just a moment ago and I can put my text that I want to be right aligned. This is right aligned and now I have a single line that contains both flush left text and flush right text on the same line. This trick works great if the information that you are formatting is limited to a single line. As an example, this technique can easily work for a chapter name and page number in a header or footer. So for instance, if I wanted to, I could say the early years, and this would be the chapter title that I'm going to have in my header or footer. I press tab and I say page, and I put the page number that I want there. That's a common place where you might need flush left and flush right on the same line. If you want to accomplish the same task for multiple lines, you should use a small table with two or three cells. The leftmost cell of the table can be used for the left aligned information, and the rightmost cell can be used for right aligned information. The center cell, if you choose to use one, is used for spacing purposes. In most instances, however, this tab related trick to put flush left and flush right on the same line has worked very well for all of my purposes. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. If you would like to receive notification of other videos, just click the subscribe button below and then click the bell icon. Thanks for spending just a few moments with me today.